Hi guys, Ron Davies from WG Geyser Kingston Traffic Plugin for WordPress. I'm going to take you through how to install the pro version of WG Geyser. Um, the most important part of the installation is just to make sure that if you have a previous version of any kind of WG Geyser, uh, to remove it first and not just deactivate it, but actually delete it. The way we start is we get logged into our WordPress um, administration panel or dashboard. Click on plugins and you get this page that lists all your plugins alphabetically. Down the bottom here, I have WP Geyser. So the first thing I'll do is click on deactivate. And deactivating just turns the plugin off, it doesn't remove it. So now it's been deactivated. I can click on delete. And it will ask me to confirm that I want to delete it. Yes, I do. And here you can see the selected plugin has been deleted. And in fact, if I scroll to the bottom, WP Geyser is no longer there. Now you don't have to worry about losing all your data. You're going to see how when we install the Pro version, uh, we can double click in each of the boxes and most of the data will be there with the exception of passwords. Which we can't do here. Um, so go back to the Add New button because now we're going to put WP Geyser Pro in and then click on Upload. And of course, we're going to browse to the location on our computer where we downloaded it from the WP Geyser site. Um, remember that there are two versions. There's the 5-2 PHP version and the 5-3. Uh, whatever you had before, if you had WP Geyser, use the same version of PHP. If you've never installed WP Geyser before, pro or otherwise, uh, right on the download page you'll see that there's a link to a plugin that will tell you what version of PHP you have, whether it's 5.2 or 5.3. In the case of this installation, I have version 5.3, so I'm going to install WP Geyser Pro 5.3 version and click on install. The installation basically uploads the zip file from your computer, this zip file here, from your computer to your WordPress folder. And then when you're ready to go, you can click on activate. Now, if you happen to click on activate and you don't get this result, plug in activate, uh, activated, if you get a result that says, you know, warning, error with a big yellow box, don't worry. That just means that either you've tried to install over an existing installation of WP Geyser um, or you're using the wrong PHP version. Just uh, remove whatever you just did, which you can do as we outlined earlier. Uh, just remove it all and try the other PHP version. And, 100% of the time that will work. So here we can scroll down. We can see WP Geyser is now installed. And in fact, we go to the menu on the left. There you have WP Geyser. So we can go back to configuration. And within configuration, we can begin to set up the site. Now here you can see that uh, these things are pretty much always the same basic thing. I use auto distribute. This blog I have here actually just out of interest is an auto blog. It does everything automatically. Um, it's part of a program I'm designing that uh, is actually going to be something I share with uh, people later, which is 100 blogs and 100 days, and each blog produces three hours a day. It doesn't sound like a big deal, uh, but actually most of my blogs are averaging about eight dollars a day. So it's going to be a $700 a day uh, residual income from these blogs, and they're very, very quick to, uh, to put out. But in this case, uh, if you're using Spinner, you can put it in. If you're not using Spinner, uh, just make sure it's blank. Click on Save Settings, and away you go. Probably most folks were worried about losing all the account information if you had the old WP Geyser. Let me show you how easy it is to do. Just double click in the box, and then double click in, the, in each box. Oh, that's password. Double click in each box. Enter your password in. That's really all you have to do. Um, just use your password, use your blog IDs, they will all show up in these drop downs. Then you just go through and click them, add the password. Uh, I won't bother putting the password in here now. The truth is, most of them I don't remember. I <laughs> have to look up. It's actually a good idea for your web 2.0 stuff to record it, uh, write it down somewhere as you do it. If you don't, you know, if, if you don't want to go through setting up all the web 2.0s, um, I never set them up myself. I know it's kind of sad. I'm just kind of lazy like that, I guess. I go to fiverr.com. Um, and have it done for me. Either Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot com, you've probably heard of it, or a place called uh, SEOClerks.com. And you can get 
all of these set up for you for like five bucks or ten bucks. I think I paid five dollars to have them all done. And they just sent me a text file with all of it. Because for each new product, for each new website you do, you should have another set of them. Um, in any event, that's how to get it in and set it up. Um, if you want to know how to do the distribution, that's in another tutorial. But that's how you install WP Geyser Pro. Have a great day. I'm Ron Davies.